I believe that we all have gifts and um, mine is, is really simple. I uh, like to go out and, and make images of people that when viewed by others, there can be created a, a visceral experience. My work, by the way, um, has been made for more than 30 years in over 100 countries on six continents, largely documenting indige indigenous people vulnerable to change. Um, so it's all about dignity and it's, and it's about um, the joy of our differences and unity in the world. And we perceive what we want to perceive or what we're ready to perceive. And for me, I was always looking for the beauty and the dignity. I was always really looking for that. That's what I needed. You know, art, I believe, is, is a reflection of our own learning, and, and then it becomes its own relationship with anyone who views it. But perhaps it was that after so many years of that, I was sort of ready to delve into something different, and in that case, it just, it just hooked me in a very significant way. There was some element of somebody being enslaved when I had the notion that that was already dealt with in 1850. It just, for some reason, it just really, sent me spinning. In Ghana, it's estimated that there are more, actually, than 4,000 children enslaved on Lake Ghana, the largest man-made lake in, in the world. These children are taken from families, not in the notion of um, being stolen, but rather families who have children that they have a hard time feeding more than once or twice a day are approached by traffickers. Um, uh, often people even that are family members, distant though they may be, or, or friends of friends, um, who basically say to a family, well, let me take your child. I promise this child an education. I promise that he has food in his or her belly. I, um, I would only think in return that the child would be working domestically within the household to help out. But of course, after that child is removed from the family, they are vanished from everything that they know, trafficked usually hundreds of miles away, often over country border lines, and in this case, sold into fishing villages uh, along Lake Volta. These people knew that I was going to share their photographs with others. I wanted them to know that I would be sharing their photographs with others and that I wanted very much to shine a light on their story and their dire experiences they've had. You know, there's not one of these people <laughs> that hasn't um, made a really distinct impression on me. And um, I th think of them each day and I feel like it has been such an honor for me to meet them that really they have had such an impression on my life. You know, their, their ability to withstand things that none of us should ever have to see, let alone experience. I think that, you know, we all have the power to make a difference. You know, we have the power to talk about slavery, we have the power to research it, we have the power to go on, you know, websites like Slavery Footprint where we can learn about how we participate in slavery and how we can make a difference through our purchasing. Because we can do nothing if we don't know, and the reason that I did this work is just because it's visual evidence. and. Um, and I believe that that's, you know, one way to alter things.